Hello and welcome to Thyrus Web Development Tips and Tutorials. This video will guide you through creating a responsive drop down navigation bar using CSS only with the help of CSS Flexbox and a checkbox hack. This can be used for any simple website with 3 to 6 menu items. It is responsive and does not need JavaScript to toggle the drop down on mobile devices. Also, we use the mobile first approach to build this which involves designing a website starting with the mobile version first and then proceeding to design for larger screens. Let's get started with the code. I have an index.html file and I will start with a blank document. Here we are going to be using font awesome to get the hamburger menu icon on the right. So let's go to cdnjs.com and search for font awesome cdn link copy the link tag paste it here and we need to link our own style sheet so type link rel equals style sheet and href equals styles.css we don't have this file so create it and also we use this logo png image on the left you don't need this you can have your own custom logo this is just for demonstration. Now, within the body, let's have a header element with a class menu. Within the header, let's have a div element with class menu wrap. So this div acts as a wrapper for the whole navigation. Within this, we first have an image. So image source logo.png class equals logo image next comes the nav element ul li and the link ahref found home let's copy this and paste it for three more times about services and contact for smaller screen sizes we need the hamburger menu icon so let's have that here i class equals fa fa bars that's what gives us the menu icon in font awesome and let's also give it a class menu icon this is all of the html we need for now so let's see what this looks like in the browser it doesn't really much time to add some css open styles.css and add some basics universal styles like margin zero padding zero box sizing border box and font family sans serif now for the header element with class menu let's add a height of 70 pixels background color let me choose hash triple two triple two that's a dark shade of gray also some top and bottom padding of 10 pixels this should give us that dark navigation bar yes it does next let's go back and add some styles to the menu wrap we will be using flexbox so type display flex justify content space between because we need the logo on the far left and the icon on the far right and some padding of 15 pixels on the right and left next logo image height 50 pixels because we want to restrict it and for the menu icon font size 2.4 em color white and to align it vertically line height of 50 pixels let's see what this looks like make sure to use the responsive mode in your browser and check it on mobile first because we are designing for smaller screens first so this is perfect we have our logo and icon at the right positions we just need to position these links below and that can be done by using absolute positioning for the nav so come to styles.css and for the nav element set position absolute background color would be a lighter shade of gray so something like 3d 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 top would be 70 pixels because it's below that nav bar left zero 
and width 100%. Let's check. This is what we want for the nav. So let's style the UL and LI elements. Nav UL. List style type none. Nav UL LI. We need some horizontal padding. And nav UL LI A. Display inline block. We need vertical padding here, so padding 12 pixels, maybe overall padding. Color light gray. Text decoration none. And I just add some letter spacing of 0.05 EM for better readability. Also, let's add the hover and focus states. Nav UL LIA hover and Nav UL LIA focus. Color a little lighter than the light gray, so something like hash EC EC EC. Okay, now let's check this one. Perfect. If you hover over each of these, you will notice a slight color change. So when it's clicked on mobile, it's highlighted a little. Now this menu should be hidden to begin with and only on click of the hamburger icon, it should open. So for this, let's go to the nav UL and set a max height to zero. I'll tell you why we are doing this instead of setting display none and overflow hidden because that's when it really is hidden. Also, transition all 0.5 seconds. So what we really want is when the menu icon is clicked, we want this menu to slide down and not just appear. And that can be achieved only if max height is set to zero first and then to a higher value. And we need the transition property for the animation. Now, if you open the browser, you will see that the menu is hidden. Next, let's see how to use the CSS checkbox hack to actually make this menu open on click of this icon. So for that, we need to add an input checkbox here. And we need to add that before the nav element. Again, I'll tell you why. Give an ID checkbox. So what we are actually going to do is use this menu icon as the label for this checkbox. So when the label is clicked, the checkbox is checked. When the checkbox is checked, we display the menu. And when it's unchecked, we hide the menu. For this, wrap the menu icon with label for checkbox. So whenever this is clicked, it toggles the checkbox. Now in CSS, let's first hide the checkbox. Checkbox display none. Now next, Checkbox checked, that means when the checkbox is checked, select its sibling nav. This is the sibling selector, UL, max height, let's say 200 pixels. Anything that's longer than the actual length. This is the most important part of this whole video. If you've never used the sibling selector, I would suggest do a quick Google search and understand all about it because this whole concept depends on this selector. Let's also add a padding of 15 pixels, vertical padding, and transition all 0.5 seconds. That's only when the animation happens. The important thing to note here is that the sibling selector works only when the second selector is placed after the first one, which is why we placed this nav after the input checkbox. This is what known as the CSS checkbox hack. This should work. Let's see. Click on the icon, menu slides down, click again, it slides back up. Behind the scenes, the checkbox is getting checked and unchecked, but we cannot see it because we have hidden the checkbox element. That's all we need for smaller screens. Now let's add media queries and hide this icon, display the menu 
on tablets and desktops. So come to your style sheet, at media, men width, 768 pixels, menu icon, display none. Does this work? Let's resize and check. Yeah, the menu icon is hidden. So come back to your style sheet. And now we need to change the position absolute to position relative here. So nav position relative top minus 10 pixels background color transparent because we don't want that light gray shade nav ul max height 70 pixels because it was set to zero and a padding of 15 pixels on top and bottom text align right so that it moves to the far right corner nav ul li display inline flex instead of inline block and some padding left of 20 pixels for each of the list items now let's see this is great works fantastic resize it works good everything is perfect we have successfully developed a responsive drop down navigation bar with just html and css no javascript find the code pen link in the description below have fun thank you for watching hit a like and share this video ahead if you enjoyed watching this don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from tyrus